हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ओरल पिल्स और वी कैन से द टेबलेट्स पिल्स और द हॉर्मोन पिल्स सो व्हाई वी आर कॉलिंग दीज आर नोन एज द पिल्स बिकॉज दे आर टेकन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबलेट्स और दे आर टेकन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मेडिसिन सो इट इज नोन एज द ओरल पिल्स सो ओरल पिल्स आर ऑल्सो द मैथड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन एंड दीज पिल्स आर taken as oral method so we can say these are the oral pills and there are the two categories of oral pills first are known as the mini pills and second is the combination pills in mini pills there is only the progestin or you can say progestogen it is a chemical compound that is similar to the progesterone hormone of the human female and produce the same effect as the progesterone hormone produced in the human female so what will be the effect of these oral pills first it stop the ovulation ovulation means the release of ovum from the ovary and then it is collected by the fallopian tube so if ovulation not takes place then there will be the no fertilization because if we have taken the mini pills then there will be the no ovulation next the motility and the secretory activity of the fallopian tube because after the ovulation the ovum is collected by the fallopian tube and in the fallopian tube there is the motility due to the cilia of the fallopian tube there is the motility of the ovum takes place so that is reduced if the pills are taken next is the cervical mucus changes means in the cervix region the mucus is present and this mucus provide the motility to the sperm means through the sp uh, cervix the sperms move to the uterus and if there will be the change in the cervical mucus then also the fertilization will not be there next the alter alteration in the uterine endometrium that is the best method what is endometrium lining endometrium lining that is present inside the uterus it is the third layer of the uterus which is glandular and it provide the nourishment after implantation in the embryo and if it is not regulated or we can say if there is the changes in the this endometrium lining then automatically there will be the you can say the abortion of that uh, embryo why because this uh, endometrium lining is not maintained so what are the main three method first they stop the, the ovulation next we can say the motility and the secretory activity of the fallopian tube next is the cervical mucus changes and alteration in the uterine endometrium so in the case of the mini pills we can say sahel is the best example and it is also known as the non steroid non steroidal pill and it is taken once a week so that is the best we can say because if we are taking pill every day so that is very harmful for us sometime there will be the problem of the headache so once a week we can take the pill so that is the non steroidal sahel and it was prepared by the cdri central drug research institute lucknow so that is the best example of mini pills after that we can say the combination pills so in the combination pills there is the combination of the two hormone progestin plus estrogen so both hormones are present in case of female and it is the compound which make the same action like the progesterone hormone so in the older time you hear the advertisement in the newspaper on the tv also that mala d mala n so these tablets were taken by the ladies and these tablets were taken daily and uh, these are not so useful because there are the so many problems related to these tablets because the women have to take these tablets every day so they also increase the intravascular clotting intravascular clotting means the clotting of the 
blood inside the endometrium or the other area so the means the female having the history of blood disease they are not advised to take on these tablets there are the some side effects of these tablets first we can say the blood vessels damage hypertension breast cancer and the heart disease so there are the some side effects of these combination pills so mala d and mala n now a days these are not taken now a days the saheli that is the best oral contraceptive because it is non steroidal steroid is not present in it once a week it is taken so that is about the oral pills we can say so now a days one pill is also there that is known as the emergency pill and this emergency pill that is taken within the 72 hours of the coitus have been found to be very effective as emergency contraceptive as they could be used to avoid possible pregnancy due to rape or the casual unprotected intercourse so this is very important it is given in your ncert that the administration of progesterone or progesterone and is estrogen combination or iud's so these three are taken during the rape case or during the casual unprotected intercourse so these tablets are taken and these are known as the emergency pill but we have to remember this thing emergency pill is not taken after that time they are not the you can say the contraceptive methods they are taken only during the emergency period so that is about the oral pills so oral pills are of two types mini pills and the combined pill and in the combined pill one example is there the emergency pill so that is also taken and uh, mini pills they they only have the progest progesterone or progesterone that is the chemical compound having the same effect as of the progesterone hormone of the female so that is about the oral pills thank you